Hey guys, it's BMR, or Mitsu. I still haven't figured out what to call myself exactly. Changed my alias from time to time. Thought Mitsu Midas was maybe not too appropriate for writing books, and I kept that as just my uh, art alias, and now I kind of changed my art alias to BMR Williams as well, so I have no idea. Uh, I recently finally kind of finished a uh, landscape that I actually kind of enjoy. Um, it took me many attempts, uh, but I think I've just now kind of started to grasp the fundamentals of painting enough that I can uh, paint an environment. And uh, you'll see that uh, I'm doing a desert environment and the first colors I actually put down are blues, which to me seems a little strange because blue is like the last color you would think of when you're thinking of a desert like why 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 where would you see blue uh well i've been kind of starting to understand that you know painting isn't just like painting the colors you think you see it's painting the colors that you can't see um you know even in very warm colored environments and on very warm colored objects there actually are greens and blues and purples you just don't tend to notice them and i'm starting to notice them and so I've been trying to really utilize those interesting, cool colors. So I painted the foreground very dark blue. Um, I picked my light source. I wanted a very afternoony feel. I wanted something that was like in the shade and then in the distance you could see how bright and obviously very hot it was out. Um, adjusted the contrast just so I could even get that effect just a little bit more. Now with the foreground piece right here, I was going for just, I wasn't, I didn't want to think very hard. Um, and I just wanted to do whatever felt right. And so even though whatever I did in the foreground here isn't something you would naturally see, uh, you know, I don't know what that would be. It, it made sense to me and I don't know, maybe it isn't actually a rock, but I thought it would look cool. Um, <clears throat> I wanted some pillars too. Um, as you can see, I kind of dropped those in. Uh, because I kind of just like the idea of this barren wasteland um, with signs of life, or at least something intelligent once lived here. And so I threw down those pillars to kind of in indicate that. Um, and I, I think around this point, I kind of started feeling like well, if this is some place in my world, it's probably the deserts of Ashton, which is a large area um, east of Esbar, um, and there abodes Sargath, I think that's his name, who is the warden of Esmar. And I kind of threw him in there for a second. And I was thinking, oh, well, this would be cool. And I think it would have, but uh, I, I didn't want to really overcomplicate the piece because. Uh, this was really my first landscape that that was actually kind of making sense to me and I didn't want to like overdo it and um, of course I gave the figure some wings because um, the Elmer or the Vasmer whichever he is are winged um, the Vasmer may not always be winged I think some aren't born with wings So I'm just using like a square brush that I made without corners and I call it the square boy because um, I just couldn't find a brush for a long time that really worked for me uh, until I made this one like the default brush was okay but like I just hated it because it just left everything feeling too di digitally in it. it you just couldn't get any kind of texture with it at least I couldn't and then I tried some other brushes and like I downloaded some brushes and like you download these like brush packs and they're just like filled with like all these weird shapes and it's like what am I supposed to even use this thing for you know it's like I'll use like maybe one or two out of like 80 of them so I just made these brushes out of very simple shapes that helped me build geometry and uh, 
things like buildings, and I find that this simple little square shape with no corners actually like provides a lot of very nice textures, and uh, I can really kind of replicate anything with it. The only problem is is that it, it kind of does leave some like weird streaky um, square shapes around, so those kind of need to get cleaned up afterwards. Now I'm just adding some highlights um, with a color dodge layer. Uh, I did most of this on one layer. I know a lot of landscape artists will use a lot of different layers and they'll cut out shapes with the uh, 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 wand tool, or the lasso tool, sorry. Um, and I've used tried that method before, but with this I just, I just kind of wanted to like throw down shapes on a single layer and just kind of work with them until they kind of made sense into something. And I found with painting in general, it's like, it's okay to have like an idea, but like, um, the shapes that form are the shapes that form, and it's like cool to go with them. Like, this figure right here, I didn't draw him, I, I definitely painted him, and I didn't really have too much of an idea of what I was doing. I just kind of like morphed the shapes to fit roughly the figure of a human being, gave him a spear, and painted on clothes and wings and a backpack that he was traveling through the forest or I mean the desert and I thought that worked pretty well. I thought maybe like since this was such a strange textured object maybe it's not like stone maybe it's something like obsidian which it could very well be um, given the history of this place. But in the end, I, I didn't really feel like giving it too much more. I was kind of trying to try and reflect it. But again, since this is really the first landscape that's kind of made me happy, I didn't want to like overdo it on the rendering or the detailing. I just wanted to kind of get something that looked decent and then call it done. Now I'm just kind of using one of those many strange brushes to add some sharper details to uh, contrast with all the soft blendy shapes from my square brush. And uh, that that's my first landscape painting. I'm really happy with it. Tell me, tell me what you guys think. Uh, like the video, share it. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Anyways, until next time, thanks. Peace.